If you're on the hunt for the best AIO coolers for your Ryzen 7 7800X3D today, you're watching the right video. The Ryzen 7 7800X3D is the best CPU for gaming, and thanks to the massive 3DV cache, it doesn't need to run at super high clock speeds to offer the best gaming performance. However, the 3D V-cache is sensitive to high temperatures, and you need to keep the CPU cool to ensure its longevity. For this video, I've done the homework and picked out the top 3 coolers that will keep your 7800X3D chill and performance high. Trust me, you don't want to miss any of my suggestions, so stay tuned, and if you find this video useful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. You'll find all the pricing info and links to the coolers down in the description. Let's get into it. Number 3. ID Cooling Frostflow X 240 Snow. Best Budget AIO Cooler for Ryzen 7 7800X3D. For most people, a budget CPU cooler always means a nice and strong air cooler that takes care of all their cooling needs. But what if you simply wanted or needed an AIO that doesn't cost an arm and a leg and performs just as expected? In that case, the ID Cooling Frostflow X240 Snow may just be the right answer. ID Cooling is on the forefront of making high-quality budget AIOs in a way that Montec is making PC cases and Thermalride is making air coolers. The ID Cooling Frostflow X240 Snow did concern me, considering how low its price is. I was suspicious of its performance and build quality and whether or not it's a good idea to go with it. Thankfully, it delivers. It can easily cool CPUs of up to 200 watts of TDP with little effort. I wouldn't recommend using it with power-hungry high-end chips, but it works well with CPUs that have more stable clock speeds. CPUs like the Ryzen 7 7800X3D and i5-13600K are some of the best pairings for this cooler. Although I've said nothing but praises, the Frostflow is, after all, a super budget-friendly cooler. With budget products, there is always at least one compromise, which, in this case, are the fans. I generally don't have much of an issue with these, because they operate well, especially given their budget price, but they do get quite loud at high RPMs. They are officially rated at 35.2 decibels and stay quiet during gaming, but if you stress your CPU, you'll definitely be able to hear their high-pitched sound. Another annoyance is that the lighting on these fans is controlled by a single color LED, which can't be turned off. The build quality of the fans is also simply passable, which is a shame considering the high quality of the pump and the radiator itself. If you really want a no-frills experience with this cooler, you may need to invest in high-quality aftermarket fans, either from Noctua, Be Quiet, or Arctic. I don't recommend doing that, though, because at that point, you're better off buying a more expensive AIO instead. Even with the stock fans, you'd be hard-pressed to find a cooler that's priced so low with this level of cooling and build quality. For comparison, there are basically just two options. You could either go with a high-quality air cooler, or the Thermalright Frozen Edge 240, which is the only other AIO in this price category worth considering. Air coolers like the Thermalright Peerless Assassin 120 are a solid choice, as it offers great cooling performance at a lower price point. But the downside is that it's massive in size and won't fit in smaller cases. And since the Frostflow X is a liquid cooler, it can sustain lower temperatures for an extended period of time without the fans becoming loud. The ID Cooling Frostflow X240 performs a bit better than the Frozen Edge 240 and is only properly beaten by the Frozen Edge 360. However, for the price of the Frozen Edge 360, I would jump to the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 instead. 
In conclusion, for around $50, the ID Cooling Frostflow X240 is one of the best budget AIO coolers. It's an easy choice for anyone who needs a liquid cooler for their CPU, but only has the budget of an air cooler. It's sleek, well-built, and for its price, it really makes it tough to choose anything else. Number 2. Asus ROG Ryujin 3 360 ARGB Best Premium AIO Cooler for Ryzen 7 7800X3D If you simply want the best possible AIO that money can buy with every single feature you could hope for, then it doesn't get better than the Asus ROG Ryujin 3 360. It's a powerful and premium 360mm AIO that can cool any CPU while staying silent. There are three magnetic ARGB fans that can be daisy-chained to one another. This is probably one of the best features of the Ryujin 3, as anyone can easily detach them and clean the fans without having a second thought or worrying about reconnecting any wires. The magnets on these fans are also really powerful and require a bit of force to remove them from the radiator. Other than the genius design, the fans are powerful yet silent, even when running at higher RPMs. Depending on the CPU load, the fans typically spin at 1800 RPM during gaming while remaining inaudible. If you stress the CPU a lot, the fans do ramp up to 2200 RPM, but even then, they operate under 40 decibels, which is a perfectly acceptable noise level. The pump also hides a smaller fan underneath that cools the VRMs directly. You can easily expect VRM temperatures to lower by about 5 degrees, which helps in mitigating thermal throttle. The star of the show is obviously the vivid 3.5-inch LCD display on top of the pump. It's really bright and can display animations up to 2,000 frames. You can also use the software to configure the LCD and display other useful information, such as temperatures and fan speeds. It's vibrant and breathes life into any PC. Overall, I think the Ryujin 3 is a near-perfect water cooler, and objectively speaking, there's nothing wrong with it. Competitors like NZXT and Corsair haven't been able to make an AIO that checks all the boxes in terms of cooling performance, noise, and design. While that makes the Ryujin 3 a perfect product, Asus is charging an arm and a leg for it. Even as a premium product, I think the price is quite high, and I think the NZXT Kraken series and Corsair H170i both have nicer looking displays at lower prices. Also, at this price, Asus should have gone with a more advanced LCD that extends the display rather than running loaded animations. Still, the Ryujin 3 is a complete package and makes up for the high price thanks to superb cooling performance without making any noise, which is something that the competition really needs to improve upon. All in all, if you're looking for the absolute best AIO CPU cooler for the Ryzen 7 7800X3D that can do everything, then there's nothing better than the Asus Ryujin 3. It performs exceptionally well with a nice and vibrant LCD display that commands attention. At over $300, it certainly is an expensive cooler, but if you don't care about the price, it's worth every penny. Number 1. Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 to 40. Our top choice. Arctic redefined the AIO market with their Liquid Freezer 2 series of coolers thanks to offering the best possible CPU cooling at a phenomenal price. It only made sense for them to repeat their success once again and offer the Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 lineup, which has replaced the older ones as their best liquid coolers. At first glance, it seems as if Arctic has simply relaunched the older cooler with the redesigned pump, but that isn't the whole story. There are some similarities, and then there are some complete overhauls. The Liquid Freezer 2 already had an excellent radiator, and the P12 fans were also good enough for silent operation. 
This time, Arctic increased the space between the fins in the radiator for more efficient airflow and used the same P12 fans for heat dissipation. The biggest changes come in the tubing and the pump. The tubing is much more flexible and has a singular color, unlike the accented stripes on the Liquid Freezer 2. Orienting the Liquid Freezer 2 was difficult, but now the tubes are longer and more flexible. They're easier to bend and orient however you like. This is especially helpful when fitting the AIO in small ITX cases where every single millimeter is important. Besides the flexible tubes, the pump is completely redesigned and is much taller. It's completely silent now, even if the case is open because of the large turbine design. I personally don't find this design particularly appealing, but it is practical. The only problem is that the pump is almost 68 millimeters tall now, which could be an issue with some ITX cases. The Arctic Liquid Freezer 3 lineup reuses the same P12 fans from the last generation. In my opinion, this isn't a bad thing, but this could have been an opportunity to improve the design and thermal performance. Speaking of thermal performance, now is the perfect time to mention that Arctic has tried their absolute best to go above and beyond once again. The Liquid Freezer 3 has an Intel contact frame and AMD offset mount included in the box, which is surprising to see. I think Arctic is the only manufacturer to ever include these with the cooler, so you don't have to purchase them separately to improve thermal performance, which is simply fantastic. In terms of competition, it seems like everyone has an AIO at the $100 price mark. Coolers like the Be Quiet Pure Loop and Lee and Lee Galahad do offer decent performance, but get absolutely crushed by the liquid freezer as a complete package. Overall, Arctic has managed to improve upon an already top-notch liquid cooler and have brought it ever so close to perfection. Except for using older fans and an outdated aesthetic, the Liquid Freezer 3 is simply the best AIO under $100. That's it! The top 3 AIOs for the 7800X3D today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. You definitely won't want to miss what's coming next. I've got more suggestions and reviews to supercharge your gaming setup. The next videos could have that crucial piece of advice you've been looking for.